Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Dragon Age Inquisition. Today we're gonna be taking up where we left off in episode four, this is episode five. Corporal Vale, thanks for your help. The mages and Templars don't seem to care who gets caught in their war. The refugees here are in dire need of help. If the war doesn't kill them, cold or starvation will. Okay, so tell me more about this uh, horse master. What can you tell me about the man who's supposed to be getting horses for the Inquisition? Horse master Dennett. He lives on a farm to the west. Tough old fella. We haven't heard from him. Best we can tell, he's old up until the mages and Templars are done killing each mm, other. All right then. Goodbye. Farewell. And you as right, well. I think we might be able to get those horses. I think that's also where I could get my, my horse mount. But with that said, let's skip ahead and go to a better area. Now, we're at a first dragon battle and I have not played yet. And I want to just get a hands-on experience no matter. So let's start this epic battle. Oh shit, there goes a dragon. Oh, that is messed up. <laughs> it killed me already. Come on, Mary, do your job. <laughs> Oh my god. Cassandra was killed by one fireball from above. Um, oh god damn it. I can't even come on! This is BS. I'm leaving. I'm not dying. <laughs> you guys can pick up yourselves. I'm gonna stay alive. Cause that is a BS. There we go. Let's try this again. Everybody's rezzed up and all that. Let's let's try this again. Wow, that was a waste of a stealth. My god. Let's try to- oh, oh, there's another fireball. It missed though. It hit that cinder in tree. Well, it cinders the tree. So let's see. Now we'll attack this dragon right here. Since we can attack the big ass dragon with the sky. Oh, so that's why they died in like one hit. I'm level 4 and these guys are level 5. It takes forever just to kill one. And they hit us and kill us with one deadly shot. Well, I almost see two shots of dead. Hey, dude, look at my HP. Very little. Okay. Oh my god. Oh crap, I'm gone, I'm gone. <laughs> leave me alone, leave me alone. Leave me alone, pause. Uh, maybe I can, um use this potion to heal myself would it help come on now God damn it, yo. somebody doesn't want me to live all right let's let's try this one more time i died like twice already for these and these are just the baby pups not even a big dragon yet oh who died who died okay okay you didn't die Solus, good job, good job. I'm about to level up as well. Just a couple more experience and level five. That dragon is just annoying the crap out of me, yo. We got breakaways. This is really fun. Uh, it leaves you on the tip of your seat. I'm like trying to look up. Oh, oh! Note to self. Don't walk in flames. Don't walk in the fire. You automatically die from it. <laughs> let's let's, uh, let's avoid that from now on. Let's get out of here first. Come on. And I believe soul is skin. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Let's, let's try this again. I didn't die, so I have the ability to come back. Let me sure make sure that we have more potions by uh, going to my uh, resting area rest up a bit get the potions restocked because we only have four and then take on the battle ahead of us and also check out the new item that we just got it's called scorching bronze armor well scorched uh, it's for Cassandra and on it's it's it only has the ability to do the resistance of 50% 50 50 fire damage, but it's uh, armor wise, it's three, 
it's minus three from my current armor. So uh, my current armor is like 48, and this one is 45. And, and I also got this badass bow that hits higher than my previous bow, the Soldier's Nemesis. And it's huge too, bulky. So I'll be wielding that. I'm just checking over all of these stuff so they come up um, not new so when I get something new it should pop up with those little arastatics and that's my new bow look at it look at my new bow but as I said let's rest up and get some restocks on these uh, HP potions since we can't make them I'm guessing you only can make the items that are well the other potions other than your actual HP potions so let's check the area before we jump in and die I'm not trying to die so let's check uh, there goes the dragon again uh, level 12 god damn it I'm gonna kill you Oh shit, run! <laughs> run! Whew. Ooh, we made that one. And... I think there's no more little baby dragons. I'm not sure, but I'm not really seeing any. So let's like, do this, uh... I don't know what you call it again. Let's do this skull over here. I'll skip it a bit because you already know what the skull does. It makes you find shards. And we move over to a dragon fight. The uh, Ferelden uh, Frostback. And I already saved the game already, so no more. You know, doing that and before that let's go invisible we put on our acid or I mean our poison and we're supposed to do a little hidden attack well not really supposed to but uh, you know you could do it if you want let's try first attempt kind of like his roar and what the hell is it doing oh well now I know what it does <laughs> This one shot me. This is BS, yo. What the hell? Come on, Solus. I think you're my only friend right here. This is great here. And this guy is doing like 80s and stuff on him. Man, he just destroyed my frozen wall like it was butter. The sand is doing a thing. And. Wait, what the hell? What the hell happened? This dude did an AoE. So I have to be in that little circle in that frame time, in that time frame, in order to not die. But it's like the little gap they have. I already died. Shit. Let's restart that. Okay. <laughs> Round two. <laughs> this time we go into poison and go invisible and do a sneak attack. I should just name this guy Godzilla or something because. This dude just raping everything. There we go. This <laughs> name <laughs> just sound like Godzilla a while ago. <laughs> oh shit. Let's name, let's name him Godzilla for that one. Yeah. So, uh, oh, that was nice. My shield, I'm playing with Cassandra right now. My shield was reflecting. The fire damage, but could, could it reflect this? Okay, it's not really doing the effect. I guess I'm only gonna be using Cassandra because she's the only one that's 
is close range at this time. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I'm leaving. No. Jeez, I'm peace. The range for that AoE is ridiculous. This is skip this shit. I'm done with dragons. This is for bullshit. I'm done with dragons. Let's do our main mission, which is to uh, go find the uh, horse master. So we're in, uh, we have to find this uh, apostate in Witchwood, which we just reached. And we're doing that right now. You know me, I like to scout out the area before I actually take advantage of it. And this is a good moment. Like right there. Ooh, so much damage. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh yeah, plus I reached level 5, you guys can already see that, so I don't really need to worry about that. So I get the hang of each and every partner that I have. I know their skills, I know what to do. And also, if you notice, if you uh, pay attention to my Twitch feeds, you can actually see some, some other content of Dragon Age, which I don't post on YouTube. Since this game is pretty long, I don't want to really post all the, the side quests within the game on YouTube so if you want to watch side quests and so on you can watch them on twitch.tv the link is in my about or I could just say the link is in my channel you'll find it and this is new so apparently this is a barrier that if I have the opposite effect, which is ice, and Solus is a man over here, it does some sort of uh, effect towards it, killing the barrier and make me able to jump in and attack. Uh, I just did the wrong attack right there. Let's bring up this ice wall. Uh, this ice wall actually does nothing. Okay. <laughs> Now I kind of regret the ice wall because I can't process my way through. Oh my god. And well, they can't attack me either. We'll just have to wait until this ice wall jumps down. And Solus doesn't have any long range attacks, so we can't really do any damage per se. So I guess I'll just, um, you know, heal up everybody for the upcoming battle. And there we go. The wall has broken. And now we take advantage of destroying everybody in our wake. As usual, Cassandra pulls ahead of us, leaving herself vulnerable. But then again, she has the highest DPS. Uh, not DPS, the highest damage ratio in this group. I will be second, Varric will be third, and Solus will be last. And this is the apostry, apostate stronghold where we're supposed to do the quest, the apostates in uh, Witchwood, which we just completed. With the apostates dead, refugees should have an easier time on the King's Road. And we just got I a believe purple. The Renegade Templar still mm, I gotta a check out that purple. It's a purple weapon, it looks like a staff we got uh, for Solus. I want to see if it has more damage. So let's check our inventory. And apparently it does not because, oh well, it's like by one it's purple though. It does cold damage, ice damage, but it's only by one that it's still, well, is it one? Yeah, I guess so. No point. Wait, no. Mm, yeah, it's just by one. 
no point holding it. And this is just a module which I still can't figure out how to use yet. But eventually I will. So we finished the quest, that's good. That was pretty easy too. So let's just check around and see if we can find any valuables like any, you know, trophies or treasures or valuables like these over here. And we just got some onyx. Yeah, I just finished completing my quest. Yeah, that's great. Alright, this is where I'm going to end it now, and you guys make sure to look out for new episodes every day, except for weekends, from 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern. Okay, thank you guys. And thank you guys for your support and understanding. If you like this video and share it it will give it more ratings towards a better future for this channel so please do so thank you